for joining Chitarupa Yoga. Today, we're going to do a full yoga class in 30 minutes, something to boost our energy in the middle of the day, wake us up in the morning, or settle us down for sleep at night. So, join me here on your mat. So let's just begin sitting up tall, finding our sit bones, lengthening our spine. Let's go ahead and close our eyes and just begin to breathe deeply into our belly. These deep belly breaths are the most relaxing breaths known to the human body. So whether we're waking up or settling down, the deep breaths are going to put us in a nice peaceful state of mind. And we always want to check in before we do any yoga movement to make sure that our body or make sure of what our body is feeling so that we can listen to that, honor that during the time that we are practicing. And then finding a three part breath, inhaling belly, ribs, heart, exhaling heart, ribs and belly. Let's just go ahead and begin to add some movement inhaling up tall exhale rolling forward let's come forward and up exhale making a C shape out of our body coming forward and up inhale and exhale take it back feeling our breath flowing through our body Let's go ahead and take our legs out wide. And let's reach for the ceiling on one side and reach for the ceiling on the other. We'll always do a complete spinal warm up. And today, let's inhale, lifting up. Exhale, hinging back. Typically, we're going to do our boat pose. Inhale up, exhale, feel all those muscles catch. Whoops. And you can begin to add a little lift of one or both feet. We can even begin to add a little twist. Inhale up and come back to our nice tall seat. Finding that three part breath. And we'll flip over onto our hands and knees for a little more work here. Stacking our joints. Now let's go ahead and move from the spine all the way out to the crown of the head. Inhale, lift, exhale, rolling forward. Feeling our whole spine move here. Let's come back to neutral, turning our elbow creases forward and take it to a few little push-ups here with our weight distributed at our knees. Just warming up through our upper body. Now let's press back into our child's pose. Now sometimes we might prefer a downward dog, lifting up, stretching everything out. If we do, let's lift our hips to the ceiling, relaxing our feet, probably walking as we're in our warm up. And let's walk our hands and feet together, standing forward fold. And we're going to inhale, lifting up. Exhale, shifting back into our chair pose. Let's inhale up. Exhale, sit the hips back. And we're going to begin to inhale up and over to one side, sit the hips straight back. Inhale up other side, exhale, sit the hips back. It's a thorough warm up of our body. 
before we move into our work poses, just to make sure that we're ready. And let's bring it up here. One more sit back, stepping out a little wide, circling our hips. And just checking in with our breath. We should be breathing a little heavier now, a little quicker than we were before. And let's go ahead and turn sideways on our mat so we can step out wide. We're going to start in our goddess pose. So we want ourselves into a nice deep squat, knees over ankles, elbows 90 degrees. We can kind of grip the air, get that in our ceiling here. And then we can shift the uh, fingers down. And let's go ahead and shift it back up. One more growl. Find that power deep within. And we're going to lift up, turn our toes forward, and hinge lower in. See if we can come forward far enough to relax the muscles of our neck. We're going to walk ourselves out and take a stretch over one leg. Finding our three-part breath. Now let's go to the other side. Remembering to breathe deeply. Come back to the center and see if we can fold, maybe take the feet out a little bit, fold a little further forward. And maybe we'll take our hands out to our feet. Maybe we'll keep them where they are, or maybe we'll walk them off towards the back of the mat. Now let's come up here. Make our way up, arms wide. Kind of flip the toes of one foot off to one side, warrior two. Gazing down that arm. And let's flip our palm, reaching forward and then up, reversing our warrior. Feeling that openness on that side of our body. Now let's find our side angle, staying in that lunge. Remembering variations on our upper arm, variations on our lower arm, and just kind of finding what works for our body today. Looking for that stacking of shoulder over shoulder, no matter what the arms are doing. And we're gonna straighten our legs right into our triangle. So if we're here, we can stay here. Put our hands here, we can leave it there. Or we can go from here to here, or a block if you have one. So looking at that opening of that top shoulder. Breathing deeply. Let's take it back to reverse warrior. Back to the line. Now let's release from here, and we're just going to go to the other side, lift those toes, lift the other toes, finding warrior two. Now let's flip, reach, and take it up. Big deep breaths on the other side of our body. Reverse warrior. Taking it over, side angle, stacking the shoulders, finding our arm variation from there. Making sure in any pose that we are able to breathe. We should be able to breathe easy no matter where we are. Shifting hips back to straighten that leg for our 
our triangle, adjusting our arm wherever we need it. Just noticing how this feels. So these are our energizing poses if you're just waking up. And let's take it back to the lunge. And our warrior two, let's turn our toes forward. This time we're gonna reach back, clasp our hands, open our chest. Let's take several deep breaths here, opening up the ribs, opening up our heart. And then we will take this forward. Let's lift up from here, bringing our feet back in. We're gonna reach our arms up. We're gonna take it to our five point star today, shifting over, maybe coming just onto the toes of this one foot or lifting our foot up. Remember, we can always take the toes down anytime. Lifting tall. Let's shift over, take it to the other side. All right, let's bring that down, hands to our heart. And we're gonna see if we can just sit straight down onto the floor from here. Using hands on the floor if we need to, but try to work those leg muscles. So now heading into our deep stretches, which again can invigorate and wake our muscles up from being stiff from sleeping all night, or this can actually relax us to settle down for sleep. So if you feel like you need that energy to give you a boost in the middle of your day or to get you going for the day, focus on deep inhales, deep breaths. If you are um, or invigorating fast breaths, if you're looking to use this to uh, settle down for sleep, we're gonna look at more deep exhales. All right, so we'll, we'll look at how you wanna do that. Let's take both legs out and we're gonna bring one in. So we're going to start by stretching out every part of the hip of this leg at one time. So we're going to start with the hamstrings underneath by just folding forward. So again, if we're unstiffening ourselves from sleep or sitting too long, let's take a bath, think of that inhale. Some invigorating breaths here. However, if we are using this in the evening to settle down for sleep, we want to think about deepening our exhale. So maybe pretending that we're blowing through a straw or blowing out a lot of birthday candles on a cake. And just begin to let everything go. So I'm just gonna breathe normally now and let you decide how you wanna do this. Let's lift up and we're going to move to the inner thigh. So let's take that leg out as far as it'll go and come down the center. See if we can keep the toes pointing up to the ceiling and feel this inner thigh begin to stretch. Again, adjusting our breathing as we need to for whatever goal we have for our practice today. Let's go ahead and sit up from here and we're going to bring this foot around behind us. So we're either going to stay here and push this hip forward or continue to pull this foot in and draw the knee back. This way we're opening up across the front of our hip, right across the front. Try to get right up there where it creases, especially if you're using this to wake up or um, recharge from sitting for a long period of time. This is a great one to do. These two stretches, the one we just did and this one are perfect before bed to help release any tension in the muscles, allowing us to relax and sleep. Okay. 
we'll begin using our breath. Let's release from there and get that outer hip and by stacking this leg on top of the other or in front of. We're going to get more of a stretch if it's stacked and we hinge forward. So we've just hit every angle of this one hip, whichever leg we're working on. And again, using our breath according to our purpose for today. Let's go ahead and sit up. We can keep our legs the way they are or adjust them to whatever's comfortable. Whichever leg we've been working, we want to take the opposite arm up. We're just going to do an easy twist from whatever variation on the leg is most comfortable. Thinking about lifting our spine tall, around to the ceiling. Let's unwind and we're going to hit the other leg. So let's open wide and we'll begin by just a deep stretch over the leg, chest towards the knee, even though the pose is called nose to knee. And if your nose can get there, go for it. Feeling the back of the leg, the hamstring. Breathing however we want, but making sure our breaths are deep, however we're choosing to play this. And let's lift up, take the leg out a little further, and come down the center, keeping the toes and knee pointing up. Sometimes I like to remind myself of that. Feeling that inner thigh now. Mm. come up and get the front of our hips. So taking the leg behind us, pushing it back and just staying there, or reaching back to grab the foot and draw it in toward our bottom. And we might notice when we're doing all these exercises that one side seems easier, particularly in certain poses, than the other. Totally normal. Our hips tend to get worked a little differently as we go through life, especially if we've done anything like a kicking, any kind of kicking sports. Or if you've skated and you've gone around in a circle the same direction all the time. And let's relax from there, bring that leg around, and again, place it in front of or on top of the other calf so that we can open up the outside of the hip or that buttock area. Breathing as we need to. Let's go ahead and sit up, adjust our feet as we need to for comfort, and let's reach the other hand up, and we'll take that twist. Let's unwind and again, feet wherever it's comfortable. This is what I'm going to go with for now. So let's move on to neck, shoulders, chest, and upper back. Some areas that can get stiff, especially depending on how we slept, that need to be stretched out and woken up, but areas that we also carry a lot of tension throughout the day. So if we're doing this before bed, 
we want to stretch out and release that tension. So either way, let's start with a couple fingers right here. If you're wearing a bra, it's right where the bra straps are. If you're used to wearing a backpack or if you ever have, it's right where the straps would be. These muscles right here, let's go ahead and give them a massage. So this is waking us up or relaxing us. Releasing tension either way. The tension of stiffness or the tension of just carrying the weight of our day. And you probably notice there's some other areas that you might want to massage here too. If you want to just keep massaging, keep doing that. But let's press one hand into the floor and drop our head away from it, keeping both shoulders relaxed. And we're going to take one or two fingers and just stuff that out a little bit. We can even need to. Lift up from here, we're going to reach this arm around behind and just place the hand somewhere on our back and we're going to look over the other shoulder. So here again, we're hopefully finding and releasing some tension along the neck, top of the shoulder, front of the shoulder. And again, sitting whatever way is comfortable. This is just what feels right for me today. Let's release from here. We're going to reach back, clasp our hands, open up our chest making way for some deep invigorating breaths or some slower exhale relaxing breaths. Let's take the other hand to the floor, dropping our head away, one or two fingers, and helping out a little extra stretch if you feel it. release, reaching this other hand around, finding a spot to spread the rest on our back, turning and looking over the other shoulder, making sure to keep that you're both, both relaxed, well, as relaxed as this one can get in its stretched position. And let's release, reaching back to Open up. One more time, using our breath to wake up or settle down. And we're going to go from an easy seated position, so whatever that means for you. And we're just going to do one deep side bend. So push one sit bone in and take this as far over to the side as you want to go. So releasing tension in the side body. We can even take our head down. Releasing tension at the neck. And let's switch sides. I'm going to switch the front foot also. So again, wherever this is for you. And let's bring this back up. And we're going to go ahead and find a comfortable seat and sit tall today for some meditation. So letting our hands rest, if we are settling ourselves down for the day, we might take our palms down on our knees. If we're waking ourselves up, getting some invigorating energy, we might want to just open ourselves to what the universe has to give us. I'll do one for each. So just finding a comfortable spot where our spine can stay tall, but slightly relaxed. We don't want to hinge forward, of course. But find a place where the hips can tilt forward. If necessary, we can place something or roll the mat up underneath our hips, underneath our sit bones. Allowing our breath to just come naturally. And just putting aside any thoughts. Any thoughts of what we might be about to do any thoughts of what has already happened to us today. Let it all go. 
Let's see if we can keep our body still for just a moment. See how still we can keep our mind in that same room. Let's just take a few deep breaths, whatever kind of breath we're going for today. Waking ourselves up, letting ourselves go. And let's take an inhale, stretching everything out. Oh, bringing it all back to our center. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.